Is it there of uh, Aztec camera, something from the 1980s and somewhere in my heart. Right then, we are so excited to have our next guest joining us uh, on the show. He's doing a bit of uh, holidaying in Dubai, a bit of R&R and uh, checking uh, the city out. And he is a big name when it comes to the world of uh, rap music uh, back home in Casablanca and around the world. Uh, Dizzy Dross, how are you, sir? Welcome along. I'm all right, thank you. It's great to have you. Thanks um, for having me. Yeah, I mean, I got a call saying, do you want Dizzy Dross on your show? And I Snap my hand off. I said, definitely. I oh, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> so, how are you enjoying your time in Dubai? Yeah, man, it's uh, sort of a paid vacation. Okay. <laughs> As I'm here, uh, this is my first time, so I'm getting to discover the city. But also, we've uh, we've done um, a little show yesterday. Uh, how was it? It was great. It was yeah. great energy. It was um, it was really nice to connect with the with the Moroccan community here. Yeah. But at the same time, uh, just to discover. The, the, the nightlife and the clubs and, and stuff like that. So definitely more to come. I get the feeling you're going to be coming back, aren't yeah, you? <laughs> definitely, inshallah. So let me find out a little bit about you, Dizzy. Um, you grew up in Casablanca. Um, wh- when did you realise that you wanted to make music your career and that um, you know rap was really what you wanted to get into? I think pretty late in my life, but I've, I've I started making music um, since I was probably 12, 13. Uh, but getting into the business, uh, I mean, things have changed now, but back in when I started, maybe 2007, seven, eight, uh, mm-hmm. things were quite slow in terms of the industry. The stream platforms were not as big as now. Yeah. Um, it was a bit of a struggle, but um, it took it took it took a long fight to to get to where we at right now. Um, and Rashid maybe can... Uh, yeah, yeah. Can I, I mean, yeah, I mean, marketing um, rap and, uh, you know, uh, getting Dizzy's name out there. Tell me about that journey a little bit, Rashid. Um, well, the thing is, when I met with Dizzy, he was um, he was essentially quite quite established uh, in, the yeah. of, uh, in the Moroccan rap scene. Yeah. Um, but it was at a time where things were still quite slow. You know what I mean? It hadn't really kind of crossed over to TV as much. There was a few kind of token selected rappers that would kind of do the TV and the radio and stuff like that. Okay. Um, but I think what helped kind of put Dizzy on that kind of platform is that when his audience saw him leave Morocco and start to kind of, you know, we've we done a video, which is a video in we shot in London, everyone, he was the first rapper to shoot a video in London. So when you see all these London buildings and kind of <laughs> grey aesthetic and clouds and stuff like that, yeah. it was like, oh, right, yeah, you know what I mean? This yeah. guy. And then, yeah, from there... He's arrived. Kind of, yeah, from there, we just kind of, yeah, then... And and that was the era where things went into, like, Spotify, Instagram yeah. became a bit more kind of established as well. Facebook kind of got, got... You know what I mean? It was still there, but, you know what I mean? All these new things, Snapchat and everything. So we just kind of played with all the tools that we had and just... Mm. You know what, I mean? what was that experience like shooting that video in Lo- in London and to kind of you know new territory, new pastures kind of thing? Yeah, well, uh, when I first uh, went to London in 2016, um, I-, I think I had like a fresh eye because it was the first time of me leaving Morocco. And uh, when I when I spoke to Rashid when we met and we got to know each other, and I told him that I wanted to shoot the video, um, h- he wanted to go for something special, and I was like. Well, actually, because of where I come from, I have a fresh eye. So maybe the regular stuff, the things that look regular to you, maybe they look special to me. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Regular London streets would look nice in a video, and that's exactly what I did. Because back then, the, the 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 audience that I had was was more like a local Moroccan mm-hmm. based. So we didn't really have to do much to to kind of impress, you know. Mm-hmm. So we went for for basic stuff. It was very low budget. But it turned out to be a great uh, project, and and now people like remember it as a special moment in my career. And as Rashid said, it kind of opened the door to to so many other opportunities, and and I started being perceived as the guy who does videos internationally, yeah. taking yeah. rock and rap. So it took overseas. you, it took you global, really, exactly, didn't it? Yeah. exactly. Yeah. And that was that was kind of a turnover because because as as Rashid mentioned, it's like it's like there was a before. Uh, that song Sali Chola Baqi DZ and then it was after that because then it opened doors to, to, to international markets and we started being approached by labels for example people knew that I could take the yeah. Moroccan sound yeah. to other places yeah love the sound of your voice it's got a real Thank timbre you, to it. it and I've got to ask you about the name Dizzy Dross how did you come up with that um, it's, it's a silly story it was Dross um, at, the, at the beginning D-R-O-S which is like a combination of the rhyme of street Okay. I feel like that's what I represented since the beginning. I I, I just spoke about what happened in, in the streets where I grew up in Casablanca in, in a place called uh, Bilimdun, very popular uh, neighborhood area yeah. in Casablanca. 
Dizzy was just to add a little something because I thought maybe a, a complex name would would sound cool. <laughs> I like think just, it is cool. Exactly. It really is. So yeah, nothing big about that. Yeah. So where are we at now? Um, we, we mentioned that video was a real turning point. Um, tell me where you know Dizzy's at right now in the in the whole kind of spectrum of, of rap music. He's at the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plain and simple. I mean. Okay. Like he said, I think with him, he's it's it's a thing. He's by multi multilingual, if that's, if that's, I think that's the right word. Yeah, he speaks in different languages. He can rhyme in different languages, uh, write music in different languages. So I think he just became the kind of you. You like you became the poster boy for kind of Moroccan rap. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? literally. Yeah. So yeah, that's, I mean, obviously he's trying to sell me. He's my manager. <laughs> he, he makes his cut out of every penny. <laughs> um, let's yeah. have a let's have a little clip of of Dizzy's music. So there's a little clip then of, of Dizzy's music. Tell me about that song. And um, I mean, I asked the guys, the management, you know, yeah. what shall I play a clip of? And, and this was a song that they sent me. So tell me yeah. the story of that. Well, this is the latest one. Uh, this one we've prepared for for a long time. Um, the song I had it written for like about two years. Uh, it was already recorded, but I had this 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 image in my head of of, of how the video should look like. Um, it took it took a lot of effort, and I luckily I had some guys, some some close friends that were ready to put down money to invest in the video mm -hmm. uh, because of 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 the nature of the song. Uh, borderline criticizes the 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 political um um uh, situation that's happening right now in morocco so people were kind of scared of yeah. getting involved yeah, with it yeah yeah but i think alhamdulillah it turned out to be a to be a big song and people liked it because i feel like it balances between the mainstream sound what people enjoy to listen to in clubs and radio but mm -hmm. at the same time it has some content in it like it speaks about stuff it speaks about what's happening right now mm. Um, so, yeah. Which I guess is is important for a rapper, isn't it? To come exactly. you know, come across with something that is meaningful. Um, Rashid, this song, um, how has it been received around the world in in London, especially? I mean, it trended in London for yeah. quite a while. Uh, it trended worldwide. I think it went to the number five uh, spot. Trended number one, I think, uh, here in UAE, there, Qatar, yeah. yeah, Spain, Italy, France, wow. Holland. Um, yeah. I knew he was Canada. big, but I didn't think he was that big. Yeah, because you know what it is? The Moroccan, the Moroccan diaspora is so vast. In, yeah. You know what I mean? You, you, we think we know, but there's so many Moroccans everywhere. You know yeah. what I mean? Every, yeah. Especially in Europe, they're just everywhere. Yeah. And they're all growing up now. You know what I mean? Everyone's the first generation that's gone and had kids, and they've grown up. So now they all listen to you know hip-hop and all these different music. So it makes sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? It may, but now we know. Now we're able to see that, oh, yeah, you can trend in these countries because yeah. it yeah. never really happened before like that. You know? Yeah. Well, it I feels good, though, because um, it's, at the end of the day, the way I see it is something that's made in Morocco 100%, like the whole crew, the the guys who, who I shot the video with, um, everyone involved in the video or in the in the making of the sound, it's a, it's a hundred percent Moroccan product that made it across the world. And and mm, when you trend yeah. in countries like France, and and we dropped the video the same week that the Super Bowl dropped, so it was us. <laughs> the number the second place was Rihanna, yeah. and the third one was like Miley Cyrus. She just dropped the video. So really, Bad Bunny, I think it was. Yeah, Bad Bunny style. Yeah. Like to think that we kind of yeah. beat you know this competition from that level. It feels good. Yeah, it must do. Yeah. So, it, is the entourage all Moroccan as well? I mean, do you have an entourage? Yes, yes. I, I roll with. You've the got same to. You've got to have a, an entourage when you're a rapper, haven't you? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I'm. I'm. I'm still connected to Morocco in that way. Like, although I live in in, in London and I kind of travel yep. around the world, I'm. I'm always. I'm always in Morocco, like every month, because that's. 
Yeah. That's my main, like that's yeah. my base, that's my audience, that's that's where I get inspired. Like even my music, I don't like to work in studios elsewhere. I, I go to the same people I used to work with yeah, yeah. 10 years ago and I... That's, that's how I keep it right. rolling. Yeah. We're going to come back. We're going to talk uh, more once again with our very, very special guest who is joining us. That's Dizzy Dross. So we're going to find out a little bit more about him with a few quick fire questions, if, if you don't mind, put okay. together by our lovely producer, Jensi. More of the night shift. UAE's number one talk radio station. This is the night shift. On Dubai I 103.8. Welcome back. And Dizzy Dross is with us, the uh, rapper from Casablanca, along with his manager, Rashid, as well. It's great to have them in town. And uh, as you mentioned at the start, you're hoping to spend a little bit more time in, in Dubai. Do you, do you foresee maybe some live gigs, come, more live gigs coming up uh, here? Yes, definitely. I feel like what we did last night um, was, was kind of an opener. So um, definitely there will be more um, uh, propositions for us to come back um, for, for more business. I mean, my personal opinion, Dubai is where life is happening right now. Like I, I spent 25 years living in Morocco and then I went to... To, to Europe for the past, yeah. like I, I've been there for the past seven, eight years. And yeah. um, so, so I, I kind of seen it all and it really feels like, like first I came to Qatar uh, in the World Cup. So I, I had oh, right. like a You're a football a, fan then? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Coming Big, from Morocco, you have music to. Music <laughs> and football, they're, they're connected. That's it, yeah. yeah. I know. So I, I kind of had a bit of a taste of what life looks like around this part of the world and definitely like what I'm seeing now in Dubai. I mean, this is where life is happening. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's get to know you a little bit better. Um, what is your go-to fashion style? Uh, you seem like a pretty stylish dude to me. Uh, when it comes to uh, fashion, what is your fashion must-have? My fashion must-have? Is it the latest trainers? Is it, you know, is it the jewellery? Definitely. I got, I, got, I got a nice collection of, of, of Jordans. I'm a, I'm a Jordan fan. Oh, Right. So yeah, that's definitely for me. Like I could, I could skip uh, a meal to, to buy <laughs> to buy me a new pair of Jordan. I can definitely do that. We've got a cracking Jordan shop in Dubai Mall. You must oh, go along and see. see that. Yeah, it really is. It's spectacular. That, so yeah. if you're into your Jordans, you're in the right city as well. Yeah. Live performing or studio recording for you? Ah, oh, definitely live. Yeah, yeah. The connection with the people is. It's one of the things that they keep me keep keep me doing this that gives me the drive to do this is the connection with the with the with the with the public i mean for example like what happened during the whole covid mess it, it was it was really tough on me personally but i guess for so many people but just speaking about myself the, the fact that we couldn't connect with people anymore was really, really hmm. messed up hmm. instagram or tiktok for you Ah, uh, Instagram. I'm still, yeah, still yeah. old-fashioned. <laughs> Although Instagram's not that it's old. It's funny, but... yeah, everybody calls you old-fashioned now, don't they? When they say, oh, I'm on Instagram. You know, <laughs> I don't have any TikTok either. But so. Do you know what? I'm not in my 20s anymore. I, I, I go to TikTok <laughs> and I, I don't even know how to handle it. Like, there's <laughs> too many buttons, too many... I don't know, man. What's top of your playlist at the moment? As well, obviously, your own music. But, uh, you know, when you're listening to other Do you people... you know what? You're wrong about that. I don't listen to my music. No, really? Once it's out... That's it. That's it. Back to it and Put listen, it to bed. Performing. Yeah. Because I already listened to it like 50,000 times. <laughs> so you know? who is the top of your playlist then? Right now, I think it's uh, the interlude from uh, J. Cole. Oh, the J. Cole. The J. Cole. Creed 3 the soundtrack. Creed. Oh. Yes. And uh, Lloyd Banks' new album. Yeah, okay, the, the Creed Three movie. Have, have you seen it? I haven't seen it yet. No, no. I, I <laughs> the, the soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> the soundtrack. <laughs> now you mentioned earlier on that you you've been traveling a lot. Um, what's your favorite city in the world? Would you say? You know, it sounds lame, but it's because of like Casablanca. Yeah, home, I like, sweet I like home. To, I like to go back to it. You know, it's where my family is, where my connections, yeah. the people I grew up with. It's nice to travel around. Don't get me wrong, but I just got used to to traveling a lot, so I'm. I, I don't feel comfort in staying in one place uh, for too long. Yeah. But Casablanca to me, it's like, the, it's where the pin drops. When I'm lost, I have to go that back. You have to go home. Best gig that you've ever attended? Attended? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Not that you've performed, that you've gone along to mm, see. I think Busta Rhymes in London. Oh. Crazy. Busta Rhymes? You mean the game? No, nah, Busta Rhymes. Oh, you, haven't, you haven't been with me to oh, Busta Rhymes. I didn't Rams go to Busta Rhymes. It was, it was the craziest show. It was on the o, in the O2 and... Uh, I mean, I grew up listening yeah, to these yeah. to these guys. They're like m role models to me. And when I when I when I got to attend, um, and it was in Ramadan, so I had like a couple of dates in my backpack because I had to break fast. Oh yeah, in uh, the uh, middle uh, of the show. <laughs> right. Boy, it was crazy energy. Yeah. 
And um, final one for you. Um, if I know you, there's an album on the way, is, isn't there? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Any yeah. idea when that might be? Ooh. In terms <laughs> no. of, in That's the one million year. dollar question. <laughs> All right. But anyway, at least there's an album on the way. If you were launching your brand new album, who in the world would you most want to invite to the launch party? Oh, wow. Besides my family? Uh... I don't know, man. That's that, that's why I have managers, so they think. About yeah, it. Well, let's put that to the let's put that to the manager. So like yeah, anyone. Who, you yeah, when you're doing the invite, dead or you're, alive? Anybody, <laughs> dead or alive? Any? Ooh, right now, I'd probably invite Puff Daddy. Yeah, yeah. That's oh. that's 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 business that's orientated. Like, <laughs> I mean, you said that's anyone. <laughs> Yeah, I'd invite like Diddy. I'll be like, hey, Diddy. Yeah, Diddy as well. Yeah, get them all over there for yeah, the launch. Dre, someone like Dre, something like that. Yeah. Eminem. <laughs> Anyone that has a label. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Come yeah, on. That's a also. manager reply. Yeah, that, that's a perfect <laughs> manager reply. Uh, Dizzy Dross, it's been absolutely brilliant to chat with you. Thank um, you. Thank you so much for agreeing to come into sure, our, our station. Where do we follow you? On the, on socials? and I'm um, uh, everywhere from uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Spotify. It's Dizzy Dross, 1S, please. Uh, appreciate you pronouncing it right. Um, yeah, I'm everywhere, man. Great. And uh, next port of call, you're in Dubai for a few more days, I think. And then yeah, it's just you... a couple more days, but definitely coming back during the. Yeah. During where are you the off summer. to next? I'm going back to London for a week, and then I got a couple of shows to do in Morocco, so I'll be there for for the next. Lovely few stuff. Weeks. Well, get get to that Jordan shop. Promise, Definitely. promise me, oh, <laughs> you, you will, will not be disappointed. It's thank absolutely you. brilliant. And uh, uh, manager Rashid, thank you so much Appreciate for joining you, us man. on thank the you show. So much. Here's Macy Gray, Dubai Eye, one hundred three point eight.